National 2 Action News investigation is exposing illegal nightclubs with police on the payroll. Inside, we found dangerously large crowds, blaring music, and late night mayhem just feet away from local neighborhoods. Channel 2's investigative reporter Jody Fleischer is here with what she uncovered and the action DeKalb County took after we started asking questions. Jody. Joe Vita, we got a tip from local officers who are fed up with lax laws and little oversight. Nightclubs permitted as restaurants to get around strict county rules. We sent in our cameras and found it all happening right out in the open with police officers standing at the door. It looks like a nightclub and sounds like a nightclub. On its website, Mint Ultra Lounge even calls itself a nightclub. But on its DeKalb County paperwork, is this a nightclub? No. It's loud enough for me to hear it over here, and that's pretty loud. Stephen Blount lives in the neighborhood across the street. I didn't think that this was legal. I thought about complaining. But one of his neighbors did, writing about loud, booming music at 2 a.m., saying, bass can be felt in my pillow. DeKalb County grandfathered in the business as a late-night establishment with no public hearings. But it is not supposed to be a dance club, says the interim planning director. And we'll follow up with an inspection and, if necessary, issue a citation. But the fire marshal's inspectors already did that for change of use and overcrowding, which could be dangerous. It's harder to get out. That's my issue. Exiting, alarms, fire alarm, sprinkler systems. His inspectors also cited El Tribble Billiard Hall twice for overcrowding. It has no nightclub permit either. But our camera saw dancing well into the morning, violating DeKalb County code. A restaurant can fit far fewer people at its tables than a club packed with a standing room only dance floor. We look for different things than a code officer looks for, so they don't look for anything that we look for. The same is true for DeKalb County Police. At four of the locations we visited, our camera saw officers working off duty. We don't enforce land use, to my knowledge, at all. That is strictly another department's job to handle. DeKalb's public safety director says his officers are there for parking lot security and crowd control and might not even know the nightclub they're standing in front of is doing anything illegal. It is their responsibility to understand exactly what the law is in a place. They need to act like police officers and make sure that the law is being obeyed. County Commissioner Jeff Rader says the fire inspectors, code enforcement, and police officers should all be working together and communicating what they see and where. The Mansion Nightclub has an alcohol license as a restaurant, but its latest inspection shows it isn't a restaurant and has no kitchen. And sometimes the communication isn't what it should be on that. Like these two fire citations, time stamped after 1 a.m. El Trabol is supposed to close at 12.30. The same is true for El Colorado, licensed as a Mexican restaurant. There should be no dancing. Fire inspectors cited the business for change of use, but when code inspectors work, primarily 8 to 5, it is a restaurant. Would you ever consider staffing a code inspector late at night to go after these kinds of places? Anything's on the table, and that's a possibility. Neighbors like Stephen Blount say their quality of life depends on it. Somebody needs to be providing the oversight. That's the county government's responsibility. For our investigation, those county leaders had to work together to gather the records, and they realized that would be a much more effective way to enforce these laws. They're now forming a task force to meet regularly and discuss what they've seen in each place. Justin? So, Jody, about those officers we saw work in the clubs, are taxpayers footing the bill for them to work at those clubs? We looked into that, and no, it is not taxpayer money. Uh, but that poses another problem. The club owners are paying those officers, which creates quite a conflict of interest. We'll dig into that part of the story coming up at 6. Looking Justin? Looking forward to that, Jody. Thank you much.